Hi, and welcome to the Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. If you're new to the channel on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. Or if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to like this page. We do weekly videos here showing you how to recognize the patterns found in hit songs because there is a secret hit songwriting formula. All hit songs, past and present day, have followed certain patterns embedded within the composition to become commercially successful. And we show you those patterns here so you can use them in your song. So today we'll be looking at a song called Islands in the Stream, a classic by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. This song follows the formula of fives. That is to say that every significant song section, whether it be the verse, pre-chorus, or chorus, as it happens to be in this song, must be self-similar. In other words, all these three different song sections and the three different colors are going to have a dominant five-note rhythmic hook contained therein to achieve self-similarity, okay? Now, in this song, a lot of times we're going to be able to identify that five-note rhythmic hook uh, by a concept called measure framing. And this is a concept we teach in our book, The Secret of Songwriting Formula, because it's a secret concept. It's not in other songwriting books. Measure framing means that we're going to be looking for this five-note rhythmic hook to always begin on a certain beat in the measure, okay, and then end on that certain beat in the measure, okay? So in the verse here, we're going to identify the five-note rhythmic hook a couple of ways. Sometimes it's going to come up just by simple syllables of five. Other times it's going to come up with measure framing by beginning and ending on certain beats, okay? So the song starts out, Baby, when I met you. Uh, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't really work. Baby, when I met you, there was peace unknown. So one, two, three, Four, so on the beat four here, it starts on the word there. One, mighty when I met you there. That's the fourth beat of this measure. There was peace unknown. There's a five note hook. There was peace unknown. Then we're going to look for the next phrase here to have the same thing. Have a five note rhythmic hook start on beat four. I set out to get you with. Here's that beat four on the word with again. With a fine tooth comb, right? There's our five note hook again. Okay, so this is using the concept of measure framing as a five note hook, always beginning on beat four. Four and one, two, three, and it ends on beat three of the following measure, okay? And it did the same thing here, it begins on beat four of that measure, ends on beat three of the following measure, okay? Then they go to identifying the five note rhythmic hook by syllable. I was soft inside. Right? Because there's a rest after this phrase. We can say that that's just one phrase. There's our five-note hook. There was something going on. This is all insignificant. It's just a couple measures long, so it doesn't have to contain a five-note rhythmic hook. And when looking at this as a five-note rhythmic phrase, or as a four-beat, or as a four-measure phrase, excuse me, we already established our five-note rhythmic hook within the four-measure phrase as we're required to do. We talk about that in the book, okay? Um, then they go on the rest of that first verse. They're going to go back to using measure framing to identify the five-note rhythmic hook. You do something to me. Here's beat four. You do something to me. That beat four happens on the word that. That I can't explain. There's that five-note rhythmic hook again starting on beat four of that measure, ending on beat three of the next measure. Pull me closer. And there's beat four on and, and I feel no pain, okay? So they're using that measure framing to identify that five note hook again. Every beat of my heart, I marked this one as insignificant because it's supposed to be congruent with this phrase up here. I was soft inside. Every beat of heart. So if they just got rid of the word my, it would be congruent. I was soft inside. Every beat of heart. So this is the insignificant syllable in this phrase, but it still follows the same five-note accent pattern as this did up here, okay? Then the we got something going on, again, is insignificant phrasing, just like it was to be congruent up here. It doesn't matter. We already established our five-note rhythmic hook once in that four measure phrase, just as we did up there, okay? So the verse, although it uses the formula of fives uh, in a not so obvious way, but it does use it using measure framing on these parts and with the syllable count on these four phrases that bookend the verse, okay? 
So because the verse follows the formula of fives, that is setting up our subconscious mind to hear a five-note rhythmic hook in the pre-chorus. And when it does, it's very satisfying to our subconscious mind as if we've known the song all along and gives it that secret value. So the way it goes on in the pre-chorus here, new song section, tender love is blind. Okay, again, just because this is one phrase by itself, okay, with the rest after, we're just going by syllable here, adding up the syllables of that, fra of that phrase. It requires a dedication. So, um, if we want to three, four, five, it requires a dedication. Of this love we feel. There's that five note rhythmic phrase again. Needs no conversation. Um, these are really insignificant phrases because we're setting up the five note rhythmic hook at the beginning of it there. We ride it together. Now we're going to go back to measure framing to identify the five note rhythmic phrase. We ride, this is beat one of a new measure here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh, insignificant. Making, and then here's beat one of a new measure again. Love with each other, right? Uh-huh, insignificant, because we established that five-note rhythmic hook again, okay? So in the pre-chorus, again, we have a mixture of five-note rhythmic hook by just the syllables of the phrase or the rest after it. And we have the use of a five-note rhythmic hook through measure framing. In this case, it's beginning on beat one of the measure. One, two, three, four, five. And it's ending there before beat four of that measure. And then it occurs in the same place here. Making love with each other. Five syllables starting on beat one, ending on that beat four there. Or before, that's before beat four. Okay? So the verse and the chorus have both fo uh, followed the formula of five. They're self-similar. That's setting up our subconscious mind to once again expect to hear a five-note rhythmic hook in the chorus. And when it does, it's very satisfying and catchy. So now in the chorus, instead of all these complicated ways of identifying the five, they really lay it on thick and make it really obvious. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. No one in between, how can we be wrong? Sail away with me to another world. Okay, so look at that. The vast majority of the chorus is just perfect fives. Five note rhythmic hooks always separated by rests just to make it very clear and obvious. You can't possibly think that this song section is anything other than a five, okay? And then they go back to the formula that they used at the end of the pre-chorus here using measure framing where they're going to begin a hook on beat one and end it just before beat four. And we rely, so right here on lie, right in the middle of that word on that syllable, lie on each other. Why do we start it in the middle of that word? Because that's what beat one is. And we rely, see that's beat one of that measure. And because that's beat one of that measure, that's where we start telling the syllables to identify for measure framing. Lie on each other, rest, uh-huh, insignificant. From one love, there's beat one again. Ver <laughs> to another. See, again, we had to separate the word lover because beat one started on the second syllable of lover. From one love, see, there's that syncopated rhythm. The measure starts there, and then we start counting the syllables after beat one. Ver to another, rest. Uh huh, insignificant, okay? So there we go, the verse, the chorus, or the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus, all three significant song sections are all self-similar in that they accomplish the formula of fives, or the five-note dominant rhythmic hook, often using the concept of measure framing, okay? So there you go. These are secret patterns that you cannot find in any other books except our book right here, and it's what makes these songs so timeless and catchy. So if you need more help, Use, using these tools to write your composition so that your songs have the mathematical potential to become hits with the right marketing, then please visit www.secrethitsongwritingformula.com. We have the only ebook in the whole world there to give out all these secret patterns. All right? So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.